Oh my God, it's massive. Oh my God, it's massive. This could be the 20 that I'm after. Oh my God. Today I am at the Great Ouse River fishing for some legendary pike that live in these waters. Not long ago a 20 pound pike was caught along this stretch of river. So let's use some dead baits and try and catch one of these amazing pike. So I'm ready to cast, but I wanted to show you what rig I'm gonna be using today. And it's called a Pater Noster rig. You've got a weight at one end. You then have a dead bait on the other part of the rig. Following up from that, you have a simple pike float. Now I'll run you through the whole rig later on in this video, but let's get a little cast in, shall we? First cast of the day. Let's hope for a big 20 pounder. Now whilst I wait for my pike rod to go under, I thought I'd give drop shotting a go. Let's see if we can catch any perch, shall we? Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Wanted to walk off all nice and I got stuck. Yeah. Perch. Oh yeah. Now it's not the monster pike that we're all wanting, but it's a perch at the end of the day. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that beauty. So I've just caught quite a nice size perch. I'd say, I don't think that's a pound. I'd probably say around eight to nine ounces, something like that. But that is a lovely fish. What a great start to this video. So I'm now at the second spot of the day and this is where I actually caught a 19 pounder last season out of this exact swim. Now, I'm hoping that he's still around. I'm hoping he's got bigger or there's another one lurking that's even bigger than that. So I've sat here for like 30 minutes doing some casts, leaving it, casting again, leaving it, and uh, nothing as of yet. So I think today is sort of roaming. We've got to keep roaming, keep trying to find them. Let's go. Yep, yeah, we've got one. We've got one. Feels nice. Come on. Don't you dare come off. I've waited all day for this. Oh. 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 I saved the camera from falling in. Oh my god. Oh. Shit! It's just falling over. The camera's everywhere. It's so muddy. But I want to land the pike. <laughs> it's on by a thread. And we're in! I am absolutely drenched. But we've got one. And there we have it. Not a monster, but it's my first pike of the video. It's taken me the whole day to get this pike. So I'm really happy that I've actually caught one. Just to have a look at the other side. Look at that wound there's a bigger one in here and I'm gonna try and catch him. Next up, 20 pounds. So we're gonna see him off on his merry way. Ooh. Ready to go. My rod is taking line, I've got another pike. Not got another pike. Yeah. 
Oh, this feels a lot bigger. Oh my God, this feels better. Oh my days. Oh, it's stripping line. Oh no, that felt good. That felt like a nice pike. I've just lost what could have been a really decent sized pike. I heard it stripping line and it completely took my float under and I've basically lost it at the net. I pulled up too much, didn't play the fish enough. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. It was so close. I just had to play it a bit more. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh. <laughs> this swim is just ridiculous. I've fallen over five times. <laughs> Christ. Disheartened by what could have been the monster I was after, I thought it would be best to go home, reevaluate, and start afresh the next day. Danny, Lewis and I organised to fish the same stretch of river. Lewis had never been pike fishing before, so I introduced him to the Paternoster rig to try and catch him his first ever pike. Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah. Congrats, Come mate. <laughs> right, this is my very first pike um, caught with Callan today. Um, he introduced me to something called a Paternoster rig. And um, so I went into my local tackle shop and um, they kind of set me up with, with it. Yeah, really happy with this. Um, Callum will show you the, the setup in a little while. It's very, very simple to do. And um, yeah, you can do it as a beginner. Oh my god, what a take. What a take. That's a pike. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was epic. I watched it take it. And you got it. Go, go, go. Nice. So I stuck the lure on, the drop shot rod, for just two seconds just to see what I could catch. I was hoping for a perch, but a little jack pike came on and absolutely nailed the lure. It was amazing because it came right in close and I saw him take it. So that was a really cool pike to catch. He's not big. He's probably again, sort of five, six pound mark, maybe even smaller, but he's a cool pike at the end of the day. Ooh, he's giving you a fight. Whoa. Nice. Ooh. First pike of the day, six pound four, caught here on the River Ooze. We've been waiting here quite a while, aren't we? But I was on the side over there, just catching perch, and then Callan shouted that I had a pike on, and we landed him. I then spent a day with Carl from the YouTube channel, Carl and Alex, where we caught numerous pike on a tidal river. How are you feeling? Pretty nervous, I wanna land this. We've only just got the rod out as well. What's it been? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. No, it's come off again. You, oh no, it's not, it's not, it's still on, it's still on. Felt like it came off, come straight to, towards me. In that net you go, that's the second pike. Lovely jubbly. Holy. One of their most recent fishing videos shows an insight into how big some of the pike we caught were on that session. So be sure to check that out if you haven't already. The link will be down in the description. The rig is pretty simple. The tools you will need to make this rig is a splicing needle, a lighter, a strong scissor or wire cutter, and a crimping tool. Here is what you will need to create this rig, as well as a lead that I haven't included. 
To start, thread a float stop onto the line. And then thread your pike float. Followed by another float stop. You then have the choice to splice a leader onto your line. I like to do this just in case the pike bites through your main line, but it's entirely up to you. Make sure to have one end spliced with a loop and the other spliced onto a swivel. Get your knot buffer bead and use a splicing needle to slide onto your leader. Followed by another swivel. You can then tie the loop part of your leader onto your main line using a knot of your choice. I like to use a Palama knot. To create your rig, pull off around 10 inches of wire trace. You may need to burn the wire to make a better cut. Take a crimp and thread it onto your wire trace. Then add on one treble hook. Loop the wire trace back through the crimp. Then use the crimping tool to push the crimp in place. Next slide on your crimp sleeve. This should go over your crimp and part of your hook. Then add a tail rubber. This is to prevent tangling. On the other end of the trace, slide on another crimp. Then thread this through the bottom swivel of your rig. Use the crimping tool to crimp in place. Then slide your tail rubber into your swivel. The rig should look something like this. Pull around 12 inches of seven pound fluorocarbon and then tie on one end a quick change trace link. Tie the other end onto the top swivel. You can then attach your lead to the quick change link. And your rig is complete. I decided to give it one last session before the new year to try and catch the monster pike that live in these waters. Should have got the net ready. Why does this feel so big? Unless it's snagged. I think it might be snagged maybe. I don't know. Oh my days. I don't think it's that small. Unless it's got a big load of weed on it. This feels big. Oh my God, it's massive. Oh my God, it's massive. This could be the 20 that I'm after. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's huge, it's huge. Oh, that's a nice fish. Right, let's quickly get this out. Look, all my, all my, my stuff's away ready. Literally about to reel in the rod. That is 19 pounds, 19 and a half. Probably 19 and a half, I'd say. Get in there, mate. Oh my God, what a beast. Look at that for a fish. 19 and a half pounds of pure pike. I set out in this video to catch a monster. I've been through so many little fish, but we finally got him and he's an absolute beast. It's an awesome fight. Don't know if I got it on camera because I'm on my own at the moment. About to pack up and this monster hits my line. <laughs> yes! Get in there. Winter is completed. Oh, he's ready to swim. Go on, mate. Oh, oh what a monster! Yeah. This is 
joke. Oh my god, he's only just hooked. Whoa! Oh, he saw the net and he wasn't having it. <laughs> oh, fishing is very fun. Get in that. Oh my days. I've landed it. Now I need to check to see if it's the same fish or not. We shall see. I don't know if this is the same fish or not. If it is, fair enough. Like he's just eating my bait again. If it ain't, I've caught an 18 pounder. And there we go. Now I'm not too sure if it's the same fish and my scales are a little bit out, 18 and a half or 19 and a half. But this time it says 18 and a half. Now I don't know if there's any scars. There's a little spot on his body here that could determine whether this is the same fish or not. But nevertheless, <laughs> he's a beast. So this bad boy was caught on the same one the last one was caught on. So it could be the same fish because he, he really likes the mackerel that I've been using. Dead bait mackerel is clearly what the pike are liking at the moment. All right, we'll take a quick look at the other side. See if he's got any markings or anything. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm absolutely worn out now. <laughs> Absolute prehistoric beast. Let's get you back, mate. Off he goes. Having reviewed the video footage, it turns out it was two different upper double beasts. So me and Josh went back the next week to see if we could catch a few more. Ooh. Ooh. He's very unhappy, Josh. It's a nice fish. He's hooked on the edge of the mouth as well. Come on, mate. Get that in that net. Yes! There we go. Right. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see. Is this a new PB? Right. Let's make sure his head is safely in the corner. It's a new PB. Is it? Yeah. Mate, that is 19. Wait, that's just showing 19 dead. I see. Show the cam. I think going just under 19, 19 dead. Just say 19 dead, mate. That's it's about that. That's about 19. That is a new <laughs> PB. <laughs> so close to 20 pounds, <laughs> but three PBs broken this season. <gasps> there. <gasps> That's the fish you had the other day. It is. Of my first. Big. Oh, bloody hell, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Caught lovely on the Paternoster rig. Lovely dead bait. He's clearly hungry. He's been out a couple of times recently. What a fish, mate. PB. Just the mouth, the, the size of the head on him. Oh my God. Look at him. That is a beast. Just into the depths. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, there's more on our channel, which should be showing on the screen now. I'm gonna get this pipe back and uh, try and get one more for the camera, but I'm happy nonetheless. What an epic, epic season.